This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX2 CAS Technology Student Course. This is the final episode in this Getting Started series. So, we'll take a moment to review some of the things that we have already covered. We'll take a sneak peek at what's next, and also check out some of the other free resources that are available. So far, you should have installed your software and updated your operating system, and also seen how to create, edit and manage files, use a variety of units, symbols and shortcuts, graphed functions, relations, scatter plots, box plots and histograms, drawn shapes and measured angles, lengths and areas, inserted images, created user-defined functions and widgets, and lots more. Our Getting Started resources have only touched the surface. You can also use your TI Inspire to turn on lights, motors, drive a robotic vehicle, or even fly a drone. To do some of these things, you'll need to learn how to program. The Texas Instruments website has a whole series of tutorials in BASIC and Python to help you get started in coding. And, as your mathematics gets a little bit harder, you may also want to check in on the content-specific lessons we offer. You can choose your state, subject and platform, then choose your topic. Many of these lessons include worksheets and revision materials. We also run live and interactive sessions online so you can check out your understanding and ask questions. Like all the other resources, the live sessions are free. Finally, as you prepare for exams, you can check out the practice and past exam solutions, also sorted by state and subject. Many of these include further revision questions that you can download directly to your calculator. We update the TI Inspire software and operating system regularly, so check in and see what else is new next time you visit the website. To finish off, check out some of the ways you can explore mathematics using your TI Inspire.